Hey everybody, Jake here. What we're going to do today is something I've always wanted to do is check the accuracy of the Google measure functionality built into the Google Maps. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to compare using a tape measure, a laser measure, and then we're going to test it up against the Google measure tool that you could find in Google Maps. Okay, so let's get started here. What I decided to do was pick an arbitrary spot about 6 feet 10 inches from the sidewalk and that's where I placed my tape measure and I just decided to drag the tape measure out it's a hundred foot tape measure and I took out as much of the slack as I could by the way guys if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe we have a lot of great videos coming up ahead alright so you can see that the tape measure is actually a little bit taut now you can see the tension on it any of the uh, the loops and the waves are kind of out of it and once I got it stretched out at a hundred feet I then went ahead and brought it to the 100 foot mark and started measuring again. This field is about 250 feet wide, so I actually had to do this twice where I looped it back and just kind of stuck it up uh, on the 100 foot mark and draped it back. The trick is to try to be as accurate as possible, so I didn't want any have, have any slack at all in the line, if at all possible. But it's not as easy as it looks because over a 250 foot length, any amount of wave, any amount of twist in the actual tape measure is going to add some length to the tape. So when I got to the end here, I actually had 248 feet about 6 inches in length, which brought me to the edge of the grass right as it met the sidewalk. The next thing I did is I grabbed my laser measure and I used it. Not as so easy as you think it is to try to point a laser measure at 248 feet to the side of a cardboard box. Because you're shooting the laser at such a long distance, any amount of movement on your end moves the laser beam several feet on the other end. So it was actually very difficult, but I did manage to get 248 feet and 11 16th of an inch. So let's be about 248 feet. So the next thing I did was I wanted to compare it to the Google Measure technology built into Google Maps. I'm not sure if anybody here has ever used it, but basically if you bring up Google Maps, right click uh, the uh, map, you'll bring up something that says Google Measure and you can use your mouse pointer to actually measure distances. So in this case, I picked the same exact spot which is about 6 feet 10 inches from the, the, the sidewalk there out onto the field and I went all the way across to the other side and I actually checked this a few times just to uh, make sure and I wanted to center the uh, the little dot there in the center of the sidewalk properly so that way it would be as accurate as possible. So once I had the 6 feet 10 inches roughly marked out I went ahead and dragged my mouse pointer all the way to the other side of the field by the where, the where the grass meets the sidewalk just to see what I would come up with and lo and behold 247.94 feet and that's probably give or take a little bit because it's very difficult to place that dot on the center point between the sidewalk and the grass so there you have it the accuracy is actually spot on 248 feet I got 247.94 and compare that to the laser measure which is about 248 feet uh, we're, we're right there the tape measure of course gave us an extra six inches uh, but that was because the uh, tape measure is going to always gonna allow for some uh, twist and some wave and you're not going to get it tight enough and there's always going to be uh, some some degree of variability in the tape measure over that length of field anyway guys if you like the video please subscribe thank you so much for watching thumbs up are appreciated and have a great day bye